This is part two of our nine month update for Jamie. The first thing I would like to share with you is our wait, listen, look, then do program. Jamie has a tendency to rush across lots of situations. For example, if he asked where he should keep something, before we were done with our sentence, he would have run off to go keep it. And that's a problem because often he misses out key information and ends up doing things wrongly. Another example is if we wanted to teach him to make a simple craft. Once we take out the materials, he will start making it without first listening to our instructions. So the way we worked on slowing him down is by setting up lots of situations or activities where he wouldn't know how to do it without first listening and looking at us teach him. This makes it meaningful for him to wait and listen or look rather than just it being a rule as he would then know how to do the activity. So we're gonna take a look at this one. You remember, I want you to wait, wait listen and look before and you do. do. Yeah, All right, very good waiting. Let's take a look at the balloon palm and different kinds of balloon goods still waiting. So Silva's gonna teach you how to use the palm to blow up the balloon to a super big size. So you get the palm and you choose any balloon that you like. Sylvia likes the blue one. See the pointy part here? You put it inside. Good, still waiting. Love you looking. Put it inside the balloon. And then good, still waiting. You pull and push. Good, still waiting. Love you looking. And then be careful. You pull it out. Ta-da! Wow, I love you waiting. Listening and looking. You do. It's your turn. <laughs> you try. Yeah. You want the blue one also? There are many, many other colors too. <laughs> Good try. You go. I hate you. You try again. Here, okay, you gotta hold this cup. Go. Pull and push, pull and push, pull and push, pull and push. I want to whip myself. Sure. Okay, I'll let go. Another goal we had was to equip him with the language whenever he's curious. We wanted him to ask lots more questions for two reasons. One reason is so that he could understand what's going on around him better by asking questions like, what are we doing? Or where are you going? And the second reason is so that he can learn from others too. He could ask, what's this? When he's out with his parents and learn new vocab from them. You can see in this video that he definitely has a curiosity, but just doesn't have the words. Is a surfer. Hey, look! It's so easy. Let's see where he's at now. What are we doing? Very good question. We are going to learn how to do some counting bears. You see? It's a police car. Oh yeah, police car. What's a police are car? Are we What's that sound? What's that sound? Oh, it's someone's alarm clock. Look! Look! Look, rabbit! Yeah, it's a rabbit! So cute! You like it? So cute! Yucky! Yucky! Yeah. It's a squishy monster! Ah! Yuck! It's a big bird! Mmm! It's a Mickey Mouse! Mickey Mouse! That's a minion. minion. Minion holding the clock. Ba 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 na na. No, Wait. Lastly, we started working on his social initiation. What we saw was that during his break times, he would pick to play with his toys rather than come up to us to ask to play together. However, if we initiated it, he would have such a good time and really enjoy it. So we developed his interest across lots of socials and worked on him being the one to initiate. 
by telling us, play with me, or come on, let's go play. Play with me. Yes? Yes. 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 Yes.